We need to ask ourselves questions like, what are the amazing possibilities we want to achieve in our organization? How are we going to make that happen? Or what's the magic we want to realize? Creativity rests within everybody, and it's a driving force that we, as formal leaders, come to understand. We have to find ways of creating spaces for the brilliance that rests within everybody to surface, and to be ignited. Peter Gamwell and Jane Daly's book, The Wonder Wall, explores four important questions. The authors believe the imperatives for creativity exist when we recognize there is a seed of brilliance in everyone, adopt a strength-based approach, and create cultures of belonging. Gamwell and Daly suggest such tips as storytelling and listening to other stories, moving beyond diversity to inclusivity, the need to make it personal, and celebration as tools to foster creativity in your school or organization. Recently, I visited a, a kindergarten classroom and there were four children seated at a tiny conference table with their teacher. So I looked over and I said, wow, this looks fascinating. What's going on here? A little guy looked at me, he said, it is fascinating. Why don't you come and join me? <laughs> so I, there's one in every crowd, isn't there? So I wandered over and I folded myself into the seat. And I said, I said to the teacher, I said, well, what's going on? She said, well, look over there, she said, behind you, so I did. And uh, there was a chart on the wall, and the two words on it were Wonder Wall. She said, when the children become interested in something, become curious about something, they go over and they jot it down on the Wonder Wall. And then we see if any of the other children are interested, and then we develop the learning activities from there. The second condition encourages the kind of inclusivity that drives real innovative change. <laughs> Can you tell me about this, Brock? What have you learned by doing this? Um, I've learned a lot of different things. The art of glass. Um, I have never knew the art of glass, and then as soon as I came to this school and entered the class, I've learned a lot. Um, and the creative process, and what uh, we go through to make these beautiful things, it's worth it to see the smile on people's faces after. To make learning personal, connect the concept being taught to something that is deeply personal to the learner. For instance, one student named Hayden had not been performing to his potential and often required redirection to stay on task. Then, along came Genius Hour. Hayden chose the Rubik's Cube as his topic, a passion very close to his heart. Genius Hour gave him the opportunity to create a video that wove together mathematics, storytelling and humour. Fortis Recontillion is 43 with 18 zeros. That's a big number, but how big? Let's say that I wanted to see every single one of these combinations, so I set out to do so. I bought as many Rubik's Cubes as I could because I figured we should store away every single combination we went through for looking at later. Since a Rubik's Cube costs $12.99, we need to spend 559 times 10 to the power of $18.99 which is more money than there is on Earth. Celebration isn't just an event. It's an attitude and a way of life. The attitude of celebration, the sense of joy and novelty, and sheer wonder of learning and stretching the imagination will lead to tangible results. There are many ways we can incorporate celebration and joy, and especially the joy of learning, in the classroom. We all need to laugh more, to experiment, to see mistakes as opportunities to learn, to make a mess, Admit when we don't know something, to invite others in, to go out into the community. If you want to make the extraordinary happen, do something really meaningful in your organization, then you have to foster a culture of engagement and creativity and belonging. And what you have to do is to recognize and cherish the remarkable natural creativity that lies within everybody within that organization, whether they're four or 104.